I've been a stronger man all my life. I tell people this all the time, with hard work comes greatness. I've been an athlete ever since I was a kid. I played high school basketball. I got my first car when I was 17. I was an independent young man in the totality. I've been knowing how to move from one thing onto the next, how to adapt to your situation. As a human, you're gonna have sad moments. There's gonna be those days. I just don't let those days overwhelm me. I don't let those days be my personality. I was in college for two years and then one day everything just changed. April of 2022, I was coming home from work one night, and I got hit by a car while I was changing my tire. It really injured all parts of his body, from his head straight down to, you know, losing a leg. You can't stand on this because you don't have the bottom part of your leg, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's why you can't. He required a craniectomy, actually a removal of the bone uh, in his head to be able to deal with some of the pressure that was building up. He had hemorrhages into his eyes, uh, leaving him blind when he came in. At JFK and the Johnson Rehabilitation Institute and the Brain Trauma Unit, we're ready to take on cases like Malachi's case, which are, are so complicated but we have the right services here to make sure that all his needs uh, are met. It's like I was walking for 19 years, then one day I just wake up and it's like, oh, we gotta start from square one. Of course, anybody wants to just throw on a leg and start running, but it doesn't work like that. You gotta take slow, progressive steps. The therapist and support and cast at Hack and Second Meridian, they definitely just took a big part in building me from the ground up. Perseverance can put you on a different pedestal and level. I set my life up to stay on a certain path. Now I'm kind of playing catch up. Because every day after my accident has been an adaption. You really just get to move around on your own. Like, you get a lot of freedom. Getting back to walking, of course, that's the first thing they want to attack. But that is not going to be the end all be all. Because I lost my leg, not my life. But I do feel like everything that came after that was a blessing and just prepared for me to be set up to live the life that I want to live. I know that a lot of great things can still happen. 